Do you have cloudy water in your aquarium? If so, you might be wondering why the water is cloudy and how you can fix it. In today's video, I'm going to give you a few reasons why the water is cloudy and how to remedy it. Hi everyone, I'm Zenzo with Aquarium Co-op and today I'm going to go through a few reasons why the water in your fish tank might appear cloudy and we'll talk about the different types of cloudiness and how to remedy those different situations. Now, in some cases, cloudy water isn't bad. It might be, uh, you know, something that's happening in the aquarium that's actually beneficial, which we will cover. But regardless, for a lot of people, it's unsightly. You don't want to look into your beautiful aquarium in your home and not be able to see the fish and the plants and the inhabitants because the water's murky. So today we'll cover a few reasons why that might be happening and how we fix each one. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna cover is an algae bloom. So an algae bloom is when you look into your aquarium and the water's kind of green looking. It's kind of got that green tint, almost like someone poured a little bit of green food coloring or something in the fish tank. And sometimes it's very faint if it's light, or it could be very, very dark and soupy to where you cannot see more than a couple of inches into the aquarium. Now, having green water in general is not harmful. In fact, in a lot of cases, it can be beneficial. It can feed microorganisms. It can feed baby fish. It could have some medicinal qualities to certain fish and also help, help them feel a little bit safer because they have the ability to hide in the water. Think of algae as like a single celled plant. And when you have an algae bloom, there are basically little tiny microorganisms of algae floating around in the water column, thus blocking sight. They can also block light as well. So if you do have aquarium plants in there and your water is uh, very green, then those plants not, might not be getting enough light to photosynthesize. So definitely you wanna address that. So algae needs two main things in order for it to grow and proliferate and that's light and nutrients. So we want to reduce both. So reducing light might be turning your lights down, not having your lights on all day for 12 to 14 hours a day, making sure that your aquarium is not placed in a location in your room or your house where it's getting direct sunlight. Direct sunlight might look beautiful on tanks that might be good for a short amount of time but besides adding heat, it can also create a lot of algae. So we wanna reduce the amount of light and we also wanna make sure that we're reducing the nutrients. So anytime we're talking about any of these situations, we wanna address the root cause. And in this situation, it's usually a combination of light and excess nutrients. Now that nutrients can come from excess uh, food, a lot of fish waste if you're not doing a lot of water changes, organic breakdown of leaves and plant matter and woods and things like that. So we want to make sure that we're not overfeeding and making sure that we're up on our maintenance and also reducing the amount of light. If you do have a bunch of green water and you want to know how to fix it, a couple of things. One, you want to do a large water change. You want to reduce the amount of algae in that aquarium by removing it directly and pouring it down the drain or feeding your house plants or something. So you want to be able to do a water change and remove a large volume of water. Now, another way to address green water in your aquarium is to use a UV sterilizer. Now, a UV sterilizer is a device that is uh, plugged into the wall and it uses ultraviolet rays. And those ultraviolet rays basically neutralize the algae, not allowing them to uh, create more. If you have a situation where all the other reasons that I gave you cannot be fixed just by you know, change in the light, so whatever, then you might want to invest in a UV sterilizer and that will help to get rid of your green water. Now, the second reason why you might be experiencing cloudy water is because you have what is called a bacteria bloom. In most cases with newer aquariums, you're going to see it and it's, it's a good indication that your aquarium is getting close to being ready to add fish. Basically what it is, is that your aquarium may not have enough beneficial bacteria to address the current load in that aquarium. And so you have a big bloom of beneficial bacteria that's basically replicating itself to address the additional nitrogen in your aquarium. If you've set up a tank and maybe four, five, six, seven weeks later, all of a sudden you notice that you've got this kind of milky looking thing going on in your aquarium, that is the reason why. Or it could be that you've changed something in the aquarium or something happened to where you had what's called a crash. Your established beneficial bacteria had something happen to it, a bunch of it died down or died off so it crashed and now it's basically trying to ramp back up and get back to the levels where it needs to be when you see a bacteria bloom happening in your aquarium just leave it alone let it run its course and eventually it will dissipate after a week or two and things will go back to normal and this is a sign of a healthy aquarium so if you do see that bacteria bloom don't do a water change don't try to 
fix that situation. Just let it go, wait a couple of weeks, and it should be gone. The next reason why your aquarium might appear to be cloudy or murky is because of organic waste or organic matter in the aquarium. Now this could be things like tannins. Tannins are basically like tea. It's kind of brown looking, and that happens in our aquariums also usually from uh, either decaying uh, leaf matter or decaying uh, wood matter. So if you have a, an aquarium and you put in some new driftwood, you're gonna have brown looking water. And the same thing can happen when you add uh, like dry leaves to your aquarium. Now, in a lot of cases, people like to have these tannins in their aquarium. In fact, there's a whole segment of the aquarium hobby that's called black water, and they're essentially trying to replicate certain parts of nature that have very dark water from decaying matter, and this is good for certain types of fish. But for a lot of people, you don't wanna see those tannins. So aside from tannins, which is gonna be that kind of brownish tea colored look, uh, you're gonna see things floating around in the aquarium, little particles, almost like you could think like, hey, if I just run a very fine net through there, I could probably catch a lot of those floating particles, and that's probably fish waste, rotting plant material, rotting leaves, uneaten fish food, etc. Now the first thing that you want to do when you encounter this is you want to check your aquarium filter. You want to make sure that your filter is not clogged. Now another thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you're up on your maintenance. You want to make sure that you're doing your water changes as you should be and also addressing things like gravel vacuums. Your substrate which is the bottom layer of your aquarium where you have rock, sand, uh, etc. Um, it's just full of material. So you want to take your gravel vacuum and go through and remove all of that out of the aquarium so that it's not kicked up and floating around the fish tank. Another reason why you might be seeing this in your fish tank is because you don't have a way of filtering those fine particles through your filtration. So there are a few things that you can do and that you can use these in all different types of filters, hang on the backs, canister filters, sponge filters, internal filters. You could use something like this. This is uh, just some polyester, 100% polyester filling. I actually buy this at the fabric store like in a big roll and then I can cut them up into pieces and use these in various filters. Or you might wanna do something like a sponge pre-filter. So if you were to get like a sponge pre-filter and put that on the intake, it could help catch some of those particles, thus reducing the amount of stuff floating around in your fish tank. You might have heard from different people that certain foods might create more waste than others. All fish foods are made differently. Some might contain more fillers, more ash, things like that. Once the fish has consumed the food and they've gotten all the necessary nutrients out of that food, they will pass the waste. And if that food has a lot of fillers, you might see that in your aquarium. So in that case, start to look for different foods that don't have a lot of excess waste from uh, the byproduct. And the last thing that you can do is actually use a chemical that is called a clarifier. Basically, it's a, it's a clay-based uh, liquid that you would put in your aquarium and it would attract particles and kind of clump them up so that they fall down to the substrate and then you can then vacuum them up. So maybe you have company coming over and you don't want to go through all the different steps to investigate what's happening. You could use a clarifier which will clump up those uh, free floating particles thus making it easier for you to remove later on. Reason number four why you might have a cloudy aquarium is because of your fish. Fish like Corydora, Geophagus, you know, fish that are foraging, digging, sifting through the substrate, they're always going to be kicking that substrate up. So I've actually had that situation myself where in one of my tanks in this fish room, I was always cloudy. I couldn't figure out what was going on. I tried all the different things and finally I said, I'm just going to pull these Corydora out of there and put them in a different tank. And instantly the tank cleared up within like a number of hours and it's been clean ever since. So if you do have a fish tank where you, no, no matter what you've done, there always seems to be a little bit of like floating dust kicked up in the fish tank because of the fish. There are a couple things you can do. Obviously you could, you know, add a second filter just for polishing as I, as I suggested. Um, or you could do things more drastic like change out the substrate. Or you might want to think about moving those fish out of that aquarium and putting them in a different situation where they're not going to cause that same mess. Reason number five why you might have cloudy water in your aquarium is because of the type of filter that you have. Now filters come in all shapes and forms and fashions and I love them all for different reasons. Some do better than others when it comes to removing you know, particles from the water. You might have a situation where you have a really messy fish and no matter what you do, the filtration that you're using is not working. So look at other types of filters that uh, might be able to do that better for you or as I shared before, add a, a secondary filter where its primary focus is polishing the particles out of the aquarium water. 
Now a bonus reason as to why your fish tank might appear to be cloudy is not because of the water at all, but because of the glass or acrylic surfaces buildup of either algae or just kind of mulm that kind of grows like a film that grows on the glass. So in that situation, you just wanna make sure that you clean your glass. I always like to make sure that I clean both the inside and the outside. So that way I know that it's not a finger smudge or a dirty towel that I wiped on there that created that kind of haze. And also that there's nothing on the inside of the aquarium. Now, I like to use the mag float scrapers. I actually have one right there in the middle of that aquarium. I just stuck it there just now so you can see. Those are all reasons why you might be experiencing cloudy water in your fish tank and how to fix them. If you wanna learn about how often you should be changing your water and what to look for, watch this video right here.